Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Favalex walkthrough video. Today we are going to look at how to create an active monitor for any particular thing. So to achieve that, we need to go to settings. We have libraries and we have monitors. If you look over here, we have lots of monitors already created, which is by default from WhatsApp Gold side. But consider I need to create an active monitor for myself. So I would click on add button. I can click create active monitor, I can create passive monitors, I can create performance monitors. Of, of course, active monitor is for anything which is something which you would like to monitor actively. Passive monitor is like syslog, windows, even logs, or SNMP traps, and perform, performance monitor as the name states it is related to memory, CPU, list utilization, etc. So let's create an active monitor for today's session. So we have lots of active monitors which we can create over here. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an active monitor for anti-service monitor like Windows Monitor Service, which is running on any of the servers. And I'll name it something, but before that, first uh, what I'll do, I'll pick a credential for this. And I need to provide the IP address of the server from where I would not like to pick up the service. So if you look over here, I have all the services which are on this particular server listed over here. So consider I want to create an, um, an active monitor for my service, which is related to, for example, Ipswich. So I would like to create a service for this. I would like to create a, a service check for Ipswich service. So I'll click OK. And now I'll name it, for example, the same. And I'll say OK for this. Now if you look over here, this is already created. The sector monitor is already created. Now I just need to assign this to the relative servers. There could be a possibility that I can create a service which is common on all. And then I can assign it. So I'll click on this. And I'll click on this to assign a monitor and I'll assign it. Just to verify whether it got assigned or not, I'll just click on this one and I'll go to properties. And if you look over here now, this is assigned to this server. Thank you so much for watching today's video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.